Hello and welcome back to Dabnica. Right, so it's been quite a while since I've been on this series. I have missed it, I'll be honest. Um, I have been obviously busy with a Hofbergman and, and Medicine Creek. So yeah, I haven't been on here for a while. But I do enjoy the challenge and I'm definitely not giving up on this at all. Um, what I am going to be doing is obviously just trying to do as many episodes as I possibly can in the time that I have available. So survival series will still be carrying on. Because I do like how I can progress this series into hopefully something good just before the end of FS19 and the transition to FS22. So, yeah, we're definitely going to give this a go. So, I have been looking at the field. And with it being soybeans, we don't need to worry about fertilising on precision farming. Which is good news because, obviously, we can't scan the fields anyway. But we want to try and maximise the profit we're going to get from this. We've been playing on hard difficulty as well. We're not going to get amazing amount of money but I have got the fruit adjustments mod which does make crops more in line with uh, the worth that they really are and also um, how much time and effort you put into them so if it's a grain you're doing a lot of work you're obviously going to get a little bit more money so even with me being on hard difficulty you can see that uh, soybeans are actually still pretty good around 800 pound there but if we have a look in here you can see that soybeans do get up to 15 they did there anyway so we can sell these at the right time and make a fortune. That's my aim anyway. Always do like soybeans with the um, fruit adjustment mod. It makes them yeah, definitely the way to go. Um, as you probably saw if you watched my challenging series as well, near the end when I was paying off that massive loan, soybeans is what did it for me and a bit of CCM to be honest. But yeah, soybeans definitely helped. And I've got the straw me mod on, so we're going to get some straw, which is really good because then what I can do is I can use it for the animal bedding, which will give me manure. And then from that, we can get them trees that I was planning on getting. So everything's going to pretty much hopefully pan out. And we can actually start putting a shed up to put some of this equipment in. Um, and maybe grow, in that sense, another piece of land, hopefully. It's going to be difficult, it really is. But I'd like to get another piece of land. And even if I use it again for another field of soybeans. Um, and just become a mad soybean farmer. Right, it could be a good plan. But we'll, I'll figure things like that out closer to. I don't want to think too far ahead. Another thing that I've had an idea on is a mod that I saw for manually planting trees in. So I'd need a few thousand though. I think it was about 3,000 when I'd looked. Um, it's somewhere. Definitely is somewhere. There you go. So it's the hand planting saplings. So you get a backpack and a shovel and then you have to go buy the saplings and with it you can basically go around and plant some trees. So what I was thinking of doing it's manually planting maybe 40 trees in the corner there, all the way out, for when we want to chop some more down in the future. Um, and we can actually have a, another big load of firewood. And because they'll be on our land, it'll be easier to do as well. But obviously that'll be something in the future anyway. I haven't really got £3,000 right now spare to go and get that kit. But also then the saplings, I think they're like £1,000 for 20 So, yeah, to get, to get 40 we need quite a bit of money. So what I did do though is because I want to maximise the profit of this field and you can see all the weeds, you probably just see the, the red tops of them over there and there's some green uh, weeds, they, they are quite scattered around, I have pretty much been hit with the weeds as you can see from here. We're going to go and try and kill them off now before it turns to ready to harvest which is it's getting close because obviously it's dark green and uh, there isn't many fields left in this season on uh, on the map even the ones that I don't own as we saw in the last episode when I was doing that big contract yeah they all pretty much just changed all of a sudden we were quite lucky with the timing of getting the harvester so it will definitely be ready and it might even be ready in the next in-game day so what I am intending on doing is spreading some herbicide now I have bought some I've bought 3,000 litres for 2,500 hence why my money's gone down to around just under 9,000 so I'm going to fill this sprayer up, we're going to go around and quickly just get rid of these weeds for hopefully harvesting in the next in-game day. So first off, let's start it up and fill this thing up. Now this is never going to really be used for fertiliser. I'll probably use solid fertiliser. I'll keep this sprayer as herbicide. So there we go, we're full up, 2,000 litres. Should be plenty for what we need. Now I'm hoping that I don't do any crop damage. Fingers crossed, anyway. I mean, I've got the narrow tyres on. And I did sort out the actual tractor. 
with the issue I did have before. I think I've made that boom out too quick. <laughs> Gonna hit the harvester. Right, so it's looking good so far. So let's go round and get this sprayed. Now, I'm hoping I don't miss bits. It's going to be difficult because of the fact that I'm not going to be able to see much as I'm going round. And the herbicide's not going down for some reason. Which doesn't make any sense for me because it's obviously spraying and killing the weeds. That is strange. Have I left it too late? Maybe I've left it too late. Hmm. Not entirely sure. So as you can see when I go over here, it does look like it's killing off the weeds. But we'll find out in a second because there's a big chunk coming up. If all this disappears, then we know it's killing off the weeds, but why isn't the herbicide going down? Maybe there's a little bug. But yeah, it's killing off all the weeds. So that is... That is strange. It means that we've permanently got herbicide. Which doesn't seem... Yeah, it doesn't seem right, to be honest. Let's, be, let's just say it as it is. It definitely doesn't seem legitimate. But anyway, we're getting rid of the weeds. So... I'll carry on because it's my intention to to get rid of them. I'm going to hit that tree. Oh, I've gone through it magically. It is quite difficult to make out where I've been, so what I'll have to probably do is just take a reference from where the weeds actually are. and hope that we get them all. It's not like we have to worry about the herbicide. We could pretty much just stay in this field all day. But I will keep checking. And then what I might do after this as well is there's no need of me just sitting around waiting. In fact, I'm supposed to be at times five anyway. So let's just add time a little bit quicker just to try and call back what I should have been at and then what I might do is just have a sleep see if we can harvest in this episode as well um, because I'm probably not going to sell it straight away I might wait it out I think it makes more sense and then if I do need to do something in the meantime like cultivate this again I can do I mean that would be a lot easier if I did that so just a patch here. And it looks like there's only this in that bit up there. Then we should have got rid of them all. At some point it would be nice to get this tractor swapped out for a better one. Uh, the other one's fine, don't get me wrong, it's fine. Um, I, nice, I think I do need a better front loader on a tractor with uh, a little bit more power as well. Would be ideal. But I think we're quite a bit off that just yet. So we can make do with what we've got right now. We don't need to desperately buy something like that, but I think it should definitely be an aim anyway at some point. We'll see how much money we make from this. If we can buy a field, then that's a bonus. And I'm probably going to try and buy the field right in front of me. Just because it helps me out with that grassland there that I've been always stuck to from actually doing anything with. And I can properly sort it out and make it some some area that I can mow down officially with gr for grass and grass silage and anything else. So I think that would be better to do just this one here. And it's not a bad size. It really isn't. Field 78, that's 61,000, it's actually the most costly because you get that grassland with it, but I think that should be our aim, if 
we get 61,000 from the harvest, which I don't think we will, but you never know, there is a chance with the sell if we sell it at the right time. I could buy that land, but I could also maybe look at getting a cheap shed for my equipment, and I think that would be good going then, because then that means in the next year, what I'll end up doing is having two fields to harvest. And then all the silage I make, I'm going to sell because we've got plenty of silage for them two cows now in the pit. We don't need to make any more to, for the actual animals. And all the straw I get as well in this field, I'm probably going to keep about, I don't know, no more than 10, 4,000 litre bales would be enough for two cows. So everything else on top of that we're going to sell. I think that makes sense. And it'll probably be the same again for the year after. Right, so let's have a quick look at the field. So it's definitely better than what it was. No need in doing any more on that field at all now. All we need to pretty much do is just wait for it to be ready to harvest. Right, so I think the best thing to do now is to obviously have a sleep in my little caravan. And then we'll progress time. And we'll hopefully, day two in early autumn will be the day that we harvest these soybeans. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to store them. It's probably going to have to be in the trailer. And then maybe some, I don't know, in that shed area. But I definitely want to hold out if we can sell them for 1500 But we'll worry about that when we've actually got them harvested. Welcome back. It's now mid-autumn, day two. And luckily, the field's ready to harvest. So we can definitely crack on with that in this episode. We can do probably maybe a bit of a montage or a time-lapse. And we can get that done. Now, I have been looking at my equipment whilst I was waiting around for it to turn over to hot, ready to harvest. And I was thinking about the only thing that I pretty much need now, in my opinion, is a proper baler. A round baler and a wrapper. Um, we don't really need this, in my opinion, anymore, this mini baler. It was good. Made some good hay bales. But what would be better is just to get a round baler and, yeah, a wrapper instead now we've got 9500 and i think with it being the only piece of kit i need because even though we've got all the other kit yeah they are small and you can do you know we can definitely get some upgrades along the way but essentially we probably just needed a round baler and we can sell that um, and then we can start storing some proper straw bales because when, when the straw comes off here i don't want to be making mini straw bales i want to be making some proper straw bales um, and I can actually store the grain in here. My only problem is, I'd have to come in with a tractor and scoop it all back out. Now, if it's worth getting a better price, with this being our best chance of income, yeah, I think it's uh, important that we do this. So what I'm going to just quickly do is just stack these bales by hand properly so we can actually use this area to store the soybeans in. Because the good thing about these mini bales, we can pick them up anyway. We can just feed them to the cows when they need them. Um, it'd be, obviously, it's going to be ideal when we want to get to 100% productivity on them with the milk, which they won't be generating much of because there's only two. But if we look at the menu right now, you can see that they're growing. They're getting the house obviously going up. It's at 59%. With us giving them some form of grass silage, which we can do. We can also give them hay. Uh, but clover silage, alfalfa fermented or triticale. It's something I haven't got, so I'd need to get a feed mixer to do that. But then that obviously it opens up the, the options of having a grain and some sugar beets or potatoes or anything like that. So I think probably maybe triticale, we could probably get some of that for there when we really want to be productive. And then we've got grass anyway. Because luckily this cow pen here, where it's fenced off, it does generate like grazing, as you can see. So that's good. So we pretty much just need some triticale, I'd say unless we plant a bit of clover or alfalfa I think it was alfalfa actually oh we didn't like that let's just have a quick look so we could do clover silage or alfalfa silage um, but the best way to do that would be to bale it but we could at the same time just grow some triticale because it's not the hardest crop to grow and if we get a second field we might be able to just grow a little bit in fact what we could do is plough off a tiny section for triticale 
uh, and grow that as well and then just harvest it just for the feed because obviously we want two fields if I do get that second field as soybeans because obviously soybeans is looking like it's going to be really productive so I'm either going to be doing one or two things I'm either going to get a little patch and just plant off some clover or alfalfa and then doing some round silage bales of that or I'm actually just going to do the same thing with the area and plough it off but actually grow triticale I think either of them options will work fine right so let's crack on let's get this harvested and we'll see exactly how much we get I'm hoping to get a good amount I really am and I can also look as well to see oh, definitely don't want to do that we definitely want to do straw let me just quickly change that There we go. So now we should be doing straw. There we go. Probably just going to do a little bit of a headland here. Just to make my life easier turning. It's not got the best turning. We figured that out in the last episode with the contract. So yeah, what I was mentioning before as well is we probably need to have a look at some balers. Maybe we can have a look and just at least buy it at the end of this episode. We'll see how much it is with the wrapper. But I think for nine, we can at least buy the baler for nine and a half thousand. I have forgotten exactly how much the baler that I was looking at previously cost. So we'll have to go and refresh my memory on that. But if I can buy the baler in this episode ready for the next episode of bailing this off into round straw bales and I think I'll be happy and I probably think this is going to take a while it really is because it's a small harvester small header and it's quite a big feel for it so I'm definitely going to need a time lapse for this one struggling to get up this hill but as you can see in the bottom left hand corner precision farming is actually telling me that that first bit that I did it actually got some good yield it's in the green anyway let's have a quick look at our yield information so so far we're not going to pick up all that information just because Field 72 is not picking up this little extra bit that we've added to it. But I do think the good thing about soybeans is we're not needing to put any fertiliser down and we got rid of them weeds. It should be the best we can possibly do. I will come back for that bit. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of a time lapse in. I'll see if I can get a good dent out of this field and hopefully have an idea of where we're going to be at when it comes to the yield.
Right, so there we go. The whole field is done, and I have to say, I think I did a bit of the calculations a little bit wrong at the start. Um, so I said that obviously if I get 30,000 litres that I'd hit 60,000 but that's not right because for some reason I thought I'd be doubling my money but they were, what, the best price was like 1,500 um, so what I did get was 14,937 litres um, and if we sell it at the price that's been shown as the best price we should get around I think yeah about 23,000 which isn't bad, it is a, actually a good harvest, compared to the sugar beets it's a really good harvest, but it's not going to bring us near the 60,000 litres. However, what we can do is do some straw bales from all the uh, soybean straw that's in the, in the fields. We'll obviously keep some because we want some manure so we can get the trees. That will also give us a bit of a boost. Um, and yeah, we'll just see where we're at really. If I can get the field, I'll get it. If not, we'll have to do another soybean harvest. And, um, yeah, we'll look at just making some more money along the way with maybe planting some saplings and then when them trees grow and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's definitely going to be a way to get to 60,000. Even if it's firewood, then we'll, we'll definitely get there because I think if we get two fields, we'd be doubling our money than what we've got now. So we'd be like 45,000 at least, which is really good income every time we do a harvest on, on a survival series so early on and it'll give us more chance as well to increase the equipment that we've got uh, so I think this baling right now that I'm going to get is definitely important because it just opens up a lot of things for us with silage and also some straw bales and some also hay bales so I did also try and store the soybeans in that shed um, and I thought it would have been perfect but it didn't allow me so what must be happening there is it's the actual spawn point for the manure which is a shame but then again you know you can understand it's, it's got to spawn from somewhere so I have kept it on the ground because there's nowhere else I can put it it really isn't so let's just hope it doesn't rain or else we're going to have to sell it early fingers crossed over winter it doesn't rain but I think that might be a little bit too much to ask for Anyway, let's plonk this here. We'll move this over here ready to pick it up. Usually spawns from around there, so if we just pull up there, that'll be fine. So we're getting a little bit extra because we've driven it down here. So let's sell this, two and a half thousand. There we go. And let's see what we can get with 12,000. Hopefully I can get a good baler and a wrapper. Right, so the cheapest baler that I can find is this PRF-180. Never heard of it. Looks like it was made in the Soviet Union era. Uh, but luckily, second hand, it's 2,100. And it's a baler. So, we may as well get it. I mean, let's get a bit crazy and just go with a different rim colour. Why not? But yeah, we're going to have to get this. And it's cheap and cheerful. And this is what we need right now. So let's get that. Right, and the cheapest wrapper I can find is this Mikhail 991, and it's obviously second hand, and it's 4,757, so we're going to have to go with this one. It is dearer than the baler, but it's the best one I can find. But at least we'll have everything we need. Right, so there we go. We've got an actual proper old school drum baler, as you can see. Uh, but hopefully it'll do the job. So what I'll quickly do is I'll just drive this back now. And we'll try and make one straw bale before we end the video. Just to see how it looks. And then in between this episode and the next, I will pick up the wrapper. Right, so there we go. I've just made the first bit. I have to say, the pickup on it's really good. It really is. And uh, it looks a bit trippy. It really does. Um, I can imagine on a time lapse that'd be a bit confusing, but I do like this baler. I really do. Might be better if I pull it along with something that can drop the back end a little bit lower down because you can see this tractor's got a few 
yeah, a few bits and bobs that aren't working right there. I don't know if it's the baler or the tractor, uh, but if I try it on another one, we'll be able to find out. But there you go. We've got a bale of soybean straw. Job done. So yeah, we'll carry on and do all the baling in the next episode. We'll obviously give some to the cows as well. Uh, but I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.